working and planning, the Wichita Falls Fire Department is now better equipped to protect this community. Yeah, a ceremonial push in at Station 8 welcomes two new trucks with the latest equipment to serve this community. Dylan Jimenez joins us now with more on this. So Dylan, how long has it taken for all this to come together? Yeah, it took around three years to get it all finalized from planning and designing with the apparatus committee, city council voting and working with other city staff. It's been a long time coming to update their equipment. Called into service, sprayed in white, the Wichita Falls Fire Department with two new trucks with state-of-the-art equipment. It's been a long time in the making. Three years to be exact. Many gathered at Station 8 to celebrate the new equipment with an official push-in. It's a long-held tradition of the fire service when you get a new unit to push it in. It takes us a couple weeks to get them in service, but um, all around town, over all eight stations, uh, the community will be able to see um, the hard work that we put in and, and see our new units in action. The trucks come equipped with cameras, new radios, and new gear surrounding the truck. We totally replaced uh, all the frontline equipment, the first time in the city's history that we've ever been able to do that. Uh, over $11 million worth of equipment, and so the first two uh, pieces of apparatus arrived. With 11 more pieces still to go for the department to receive. We'll have seven more engines and one ladder truck and one rescue, so they'll be trickling in for the next couple months. New equipment to better serve the community. Milton said the last time the fire department received a truck was about five years ago, and he says the trucks are still serviceable, but will put in reserve replacing the equipment, which is about 30 years old. Oh, my goodness. Very nice. Yeah, that yes. is nice. It's exciting for them for sure. Okay, Dylan, thank you so much.